Looking at games from Sunday, the 18th of February, there were seven games that night, and a lot of road wins. Let's take a look at some of these. Uh, seems like the games earlier in the evening were all road wins, um, but uh, uh, this was Sunday. And just a footnote on Sunday, I don't get to see a lot of Sunday games uh, in particular uh, because I do uh, referee beer league games and um, yeah, I don't get to see a lot of Sunday night games unless uh, unless they happen early in the day. Uh, and, and even then, a lot of times I'm working that day. So uh, like it was this Sunday, I worked uh, my regular job from uh, 8 in the morning till 5 at night. And then I had to go back out and uh, referee games from about 6.30 until about 10 at night. Mm -hmm. So... I didn't get to see a lot of games that night. So anyway, let's let's take a look at the games and some of the notes that I saw from that game, uh, from the games. First game of the day, Philadelphia at the Rangers. Uh, these are two teams that don't like each other, living you know just the uh, length of the Jersey Turnpike apart from each other. But the game was in New York. Uh, coming into the game, Philadelphia is 29, 19, and 10. New York was 27, 27, and five. Struggling mightily to hang on in the uh, in the race in the uh, Metropolitan Division. Uh, ultimately, Philadelphia won the game seven to four, and Neuwirth gets the win in net uh, with just eleven saves. Uh, Lyon came in in relief after Neuwirth got hurt uh, and made twenty-five saves of his own. Actually, Lyon got the win, not Neuwirth. Uh, but Neuwirth did get injured, and he's going to be out for a little while. And as we would see a couple of days later, uh, Philadelphia made a trade to get a goaltender. And I'll have details of that uh, in another video. But anyway, um, Rangers. Henrik Lundqvist still hasn't got the memo that the Rangers are in sell mode. He's still trying his damnedest to get uh, the Rangers into the playoffs. But he made 30 saves in, in, a, in the losing effort. And the Rangers, after this game, had now lost four straight and uh, are well out of the playoff picture at this point. Uh, not mathematically, but realistically speaking, they're not going to uh, make the playoffs. Next game, Oilers at Avalanche. Uh, Oilers, again, struggling this year, uh, but they actually put it together for, for a game here. And they've been doing that from time to time this year. Um, and the Oilers are still a dangerous team. They were a very good team last year. Um, but they're still somewhat of a dangerous team in that every once in a while they'll put everything together and, and play a game similar to what uh, we had become accustomed to last season. And this was uh, one of those cases. Uh, Talbot with 24 saves uh, in the winning effort. Uh, I put Connor McJesus down here because that's, that's his nickname there in Edmonton. So that's what I refer to uh, Connor McDavid as. But McJesus gets three goals uh, in that game, his third hat-trick of the season in the winning effort, and the Oilers ultimately win the game 4-2. to two. Uh, Avalanche, uh, Varlamov, 36 saves in the losing effort. Really wasn't a whole lot there um, individually to make note of uh, in that game. It was just one of those games where, um, yeah, the Avs are fighting for a playoff spot, but uh, they... Uh, they ultimately uh, fell short in this one. Uh, next game, New Jersey at Carolina. This was a home game for Carolina. Uh, Canes fans, stop me if you've seen this movie before, but uh, Carolina Hurricanes uh, outshoot, generally outplay the Devils, but ultimately lose the game. Uh, New Jersey wins this game in overtime, 3-2. to two. This is the second straight loss uh, in a row to New Jersey in about a week span. They played roughly a week ago. And at the time, they were basically, I think they were one point apart before they played each other the first time. Now they're, they're four or five points apart in the standings uh, thanks to the two New Jersey wins over Carolina. New Jersey's beginning to pull away uh, from Carolina in the playoff race at this point. Um, and New Jersey wins the game despite the fact, this note right here, the B2B, um, 
Jersey wins this game despite the fact that they were playing a back-to-back where Carolina had uh, Saturday off. So Anyway, Kincaid makes 40 saves in the winning effort. Cam Ward makes 18 saves in the losing effort. Uh, again, Carolina vastly outshot Jersey in this game and just couldn't uh, come up with the win uh, in that one. And then uh, Taylor Hall got the game winner in overtime for New Jersey. And that extends his uh, point scoring streak to 18 games at this point. So, um, so yeah, Taylor Hall is putting things together for uh, New Jersey at this point. All right, next game we have Pittsburgh at Columbus. Uh, Pittsburgh ultimately coming away with the 5-2 to two win. Uh, again, Pittsburgh is running on all cylinders at this point. Uh, making them look scary dangerous and and at this point if they keep playing the way they are a probable to repeat as the stanley cup champion as much as i hate to say that i really don't want to see pittsburgh win another cup i want to see someone else win it this year and i really don't care who i'd like it to be boston but i don't care who at this point um, but anyway jari gets to start net since the pittsburgh penguins played on saturday murray played Generally, on back-to-back nights, uh, teams will play one of their goalies on one and and the other goalie in the other. In this case, Jari gets the start for Pittsburgh, makes 35 saves in the winning effort. Sheehan gets two goals. And I noted here that Pittsburgh got the 5-2 win. They scored five goals despite the fact Crosby, Malkin, and Kessel all combined had zero goals, one assist on the night. Uh, and that one assist w- belonged to Malkin. Um, so Crosby's kept off the board. Kessel's kept off the board. Yet Pittsburgh scores five goals. Um, just speaks to how dangerous that team really is. Top to bottom, they're playing very well right now. On the Columbus side, Bobrovsky gets 18 saves in the losing effort. And uh, Nick Felino got hurt in that game. And I think he's going to be out for a little while. I think I saw something where he's uh, he's going to miss a couple of games at the very least anyway. And uh, we'll find out um, at some point. We'll probably talk about it on the podcast, how long Felino is going to be out uh, when we record the podcast this week. So, so because we do talk quite a bit about injuries on the podcast. Um, but anyway, Pittsburgh wins that game 5-2. to two. Uh, Not much more to speak of there. Uh, Toronto-Detroit, this is a nice original six rivalry that has kind of been um, renewed somewhat with with Detroit being uh, in the Eastern Conference. It was a long, long time there. Detroit was in the West where this rivalry really didn't exist. But uh, uh, I always enjoy seeing Detroit and Toronto play. I just like the clashing colors of the two jerseys. You've got the predominantly blue-white Toronto with the predominantly red-white Detroit, um, just very, very simple, but very classic uh, jerseys on both teams' parts. But besides the aesthetics of the game, uh, it was a very good game overall. Uh, Toronto, uh, Detroit were tied 2-2 two to two late into the third, and Toronto gets the game-winning goal 20, I'm sorry, 30 0.2 seconds left on the regulation clock. Toronto steals the two points away from Detroit. Um, for Detroit, yeah, it hurts, but realistically, they're not going to make the playoffs anyway. So, um, but yeah, if you're a Detroit fan, it still sucks to, to lose that way. Uh, I know the Bruins have lost a couple of games that way, and it sucks. But anyway, uh, Mrazek makes 31 saves in the losing effort. And McElhaney gets the start in net for Toronto beside, uh, because, again, Anderson played the night before. Marner, Matthews, and JVR each with a goal for Toronto. So Toronto's big-name players did get uh, goals in that game and carried the offense for that team. And, uh, yeah, ultimately, Toronto wins the game 3-2. to two. All right, next game, Dallas at San Jose. Let me get out of the way a little bit. Might fall off screen here. Uh, San Jose gets the 5-2 to two win. Uh, 
This one was all San Jose at the beginning. Uh, they jumped out to a 4-0 lead in the first period. Uh, Bishop ultimately gets pulled from the game about 17 minutes into the first period. Uh, he only made one save in those 17 minutes and gave up four goals. So four goals and five shots. Uh, they go ahead and pull him, put Lettinen in. Lettinen makes 22 saves the rest of the way. Uh, but by then it was too late. Dallas was behind 4 nothing. They ultimately fell down 5 nothing before uh, finally uh, scoring a couple of goals. Uh, but on the winning side, Jones gets 26 saves in the uh, winning effort. Bodker with two goals. Pavelski with a goal and two assists for San Jose. Uh, just an all-around uh, great win for uh, San Jose in that game. Um, between two teams that are both likely going to uh, make the playoffs at this point. All right, last game of the night, Winnipeg at hosting, actually, hosting Florida. Uh, Winnipeg gets the 7-2 win in this game. Uh, Reimer, 27 saves in the losing effort for Florida. Uh, Buck 25 saves in the winning effort for Winnipeg. Connor with two goals, Perot with a goal and two assists, and Myers and Wheeler each with three assists. So uh, a lot of points there for a bunch of guys on the Winnipeg Jets in that game. Winnipeg going in was a 34-15-9 and 15 and nine record, so their record gets even better. Uh, they look even better than they were before. Reimer, uh, I'm sorry, Florida, even though they still think they're going to make the playoffs, um, they're making a run of it, but uh, they laid an egg in this one. So um, not much more to say about that one, but Winnipeg ultimately wins that game 7-2. to two. And all the rest of these teams were off on Sunday night. So uh, that is it for the games of Sunday, February 18th. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you really liked it, go ahead and click subscribe to see more of this type of content. And until the next video, we will uh, catch you then.